When I was a kid, I basically used to use The Sims 3 like a farming simulator. I would be sitting in class daydreaming about how I was gonna set up my Sims farmhouse when I got home from school, especially after I got the pets pack and had horses and stuff. Oh my god, I loved farming and gardening in The Sims. And honestly, that farming urge has never really gone away. I've kind of always been obsessed with farm stuff in The Sims 4 too. And us farm girlies have been thriving in The Sims 4 recently between cottage living and now Horse Ranch, we've got so much good farm stuff. It's been a while since I last used all that farm stuff in The Sims 4 and I'm kind of in the mood to make a new save. So if I'm gonna be doing some farm gameplay on my Twitch streams this week, I'm gonna have to do some prep work. So here's what I'm thinking. We maybe try to build a farm starter home up here by the waterfall in Henford on Bagley. I don't really like to use money cheats in my own gameplay, so if I'm gonna play in this house, I'd like for it to be at least somewhat reasonably priced. It honestly might be kind of an interesting challenge because I wanna have all the stuff. I want to have like chickens and cows and if I'm gonna try and afford those things and a full house this might be a little bit difficult. Although shockingly this animal shed is only 500 simoleons. Why did I think it cost more than that? This might not be too bad. Before I get too far into this I want to tell you a little bit about our sponsor today which actually very appropriately is Heyday. I've been playing a lot of Heyday recently. It's a super cute cozy mobile farming game and I just got done talking about how much I love to farm so I don't think anyone is surprised that I'm a a fan of Heyday. Basically in the game you can design and run your own farm. You plant and harvest crops, you take care of animals, you can also make and sell goods like bread and stuff like that. And as you complete tasks and progress obviously you unlock new plants and new animals and new things to do. You can also play with your family and friends and I've gotten Dan super into it as well so it's kind of fun for everybody. Nothing bad ever happens in Heyday. It is cozy farming vibes only and that is exactly what I need out of a game. If you want to download Heyday you can scan this QR code on the screen but I've also got it linked down below and now's a good time because they've got kind of a fun Halloween event going on. There's some really cute in-game assets and decorations for the Halloween season. Heyday's the kind of thing that's been very nice for me to just curl up on the couch with while I'm babysitting my kittens. It's nice because you can't like lose or ruin something if you get distracted. And trust me, I get distracted often by these cats. It's a really nice, cozy, peaceful escape from everything into the farm and I think that you'll like it. So thank you again to Heyday for sponsoring today's video. I've got links here and also down there if you want to download it. And with that, let's go ahead and get back into The Sims. I've got this dream of having a little wraparound porch, kind of like you see in the movies, just like the most stereotypical farmhouse you can imagine. I just don't really know if we can afford that with the budget that we have, because it's kind of expensive to buy all those columns and the fences and everything. But like, wouldn't it be so cute if we had a little porch like this? And that leaves us with like 14,000 simoleons to do the rest of the house, which isn't a lot of money, but maybe is doable. What if I tried to shrink the whole thing. I know that's really, really small, but the goal is to have the exterior be nice, not the interior, right? That's so bad. The goal should also be to have the interior be nice. I just, I care a little bit more about the farm part than the house part of this farmhouse. I'm gonna try and scoot this really close to the front of the lot because I'm thinking that we'll have a garden back here in the backyard and then the side yard will be mostly for the animals. It genuinely takes some strategizing to do a house like this because it's kind of complicated trying to figure out where everything should go. Right now I'm kind of leaning towards the upstairs being a little bit open, like maybe having this whole area open to the first floor. We can buy a little bit less furniture that way, which will save us some money. And then here can be a bedroom and maybe this little part can be a bathroom. It's kind of a weird shape downstairs, but I'm picturing that maybe this is the living room. We could probably put a dining table here and then the kitchen could be in this little nook. Actually, we could probably stick a little desk upstairs in this area. I'd like to buy a nicer shower tub combo, but that's kind of pricey. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to afford to keep it. I'll probably end up changing the style of a lot of this, but right now I'm mostly just trying to go in and get all the necessities. This is actually kind of a really cute kitchen layout. We have to do really small and really simple in the living room. Same thing upstairs, just very small and very simple. I'll put some random wallpaper everywhere just so we've definitely paid for something. There's a couple other slight necessities, like, you know, maybe getting a staircase so you can actually access the porch. And hear me out, okay? Maybe if we're feeling really fancy, we could buy like a front door and some windows. I have sort of picked some slightly more expensive doors and windows, but they look nice. Putting these columns everywhere is also very expensive, but I feel like it's kind of worth it. I was sort of envisioning just a white siding and a metal roof like you might see in real life. And maybe I'll use this horse ranch stone as the foundation.
situation. I will admit that it is looking a little bit bland. I'm trying to add in some more color with the shutters. I feel like so many of the farmhouses you see are like all black and white. Once I get some debug landscaping, it's gonna look way better and way more finished out there. Speaking of which, I might get some debug stuff now because I'm considering maybe using some debug fences instead of paying for real ones. There are so many good debug plants and they're all completely free. So I'm gonna use those like all over the place. But now that I think about it, I kind of want to use this fence. I wasn't really planning on paying for a fence, but this one from Horse Ranch is like exactly the vibes I was going for. So I kind of want to try to use it. I can delete the fences that would be where the building is and that'll save us a little bit of extra money. The problem is I kind of want to put a fence there so that we can block off where the animals will go. And paying for a fence and a fence gate like that is a little bit on the pricey side. I'm trying out a few different things with like deleting fences and stuff, but I feel like it looks weird to just have the fence in one side. So I probably will fence in the whole yard. I won't pay for a gate here though. I'll just open it up. And I'm gonna place loads of these bushes all around in the corners, just filling up so much of the empty space. This is kind of a pointless expense because your Sims can just plant stuff into the ground, but I feel like having actual fields set up for the crops is probably for the best. And these only cost 10 simoleons each, so for 80 simoleons to have like full decor out here is probably worthwhile. Now that we have the whole thing laid out, I might come back to this once I've properly decorated the interior because we're kind of running a little bit low on funds. <laughs> and I would very much like to have a fully furnished inside. I'm not sure it's worth it to buy a more expensive sofa, but I really, really, really want to have a more expensive sofa. Your Sims can still walk all the way around this, and I really like this sofa. I just, I think I'm struggling with the floor. There's something about the wood colors that's throwing me off in here. It might even be the wood color on this. I would like to use a pretty wallpaper, but this rug's not gonna work then. Cottage Living just has so many beautiful things. That looks so pretty to me. Even little things like these hay bales cost a hundred simoleons. I'd really like to use a different counter too so we can get some more color in that way. Do you think it looks weird if I put an island piece at the end like that? I kind of wanted to have it go out a little bit more, but I think it might look strange. Maybe I could have it extend out like that. Oh my god, this is only a hundred simoleons. That is a game changer. I was so worried about this. I really wanted to have like a cute piece of furniture, but that's so cheap. Okay, that's perfect. And then we can maybe get this really cute item to go by the front door. I feel like it is very important to have upper cabinets. However, <laughs> I can tell that they're maybe a little bit out of our price range. Oh my goodness, the new tile from the brand new stuff pack is like actually perfect for this. And we don't need to have a ton of clutter because as long as it's functional, it's fine. Thankfully, these chairs are quite cheap. It just kind of stinks because I wish that we could have something a little bit more decorative. I don't really want to have plain wood chairs, but I also can't really afford to do anything else. This table is like way out of my price range. I really should probably not be using that. It just looks so good in there though, doesn't it? Like, isn't that really nice? Oh my god, I need a trash can too. I can't afford this. <laughs> This house is not gonna work. The trash can's 220. I guess we don't need to have a trash can inside and maybe I could delete the underside of the stairs too. It makes the place feel a bit more open and it gives us back like 400 simoleons. I'm totally gonna use this tile in this bathroom upstairs, by the way. That tile is a very cheap and easy way to make this bathroom look a million times cuter. Aside from that, I don't think I should add too much else into here. We need to just leave the bathroom functional and not try to do anything too fancy. This little bookshelf thing from Cottage Living is only 10 simoleons. That that is a complete game changer for us. That is about all we can do because with a budget this small, you have to be really careful. Maybe we can have a cute polka dot chair upstairs. I would very much like to have a fancy light in this open ceiling area. I'd also very much like to have an art piece on this wall, but I don't know if we can afford that. <laughs> I'm never sure if it's better to have it in the area I can actually access or if it's better to have it like in this big open wall. Maybe I should put it downstairs where it's actually more visible to us. We have a helper, everyone. This little thing has decided that she wants to follow my mouse cursor wherever it goes. And that is really very nice of her. I really appreciate the help. However, <laughs> <laughs> it is making it a little bit difficult for me to build. Oh my god, chairs are so expensive. How much does a coffee table cost? This is only 60. The horse ranch one is pretty and it's only 70. Oh, you know what? We could save a lot of money using horse ranch stuff. This is 30 simoleons instead of 60. That's 150, but this thing's only 105, so I guess we probably shouldn't use that. Well, it's not that cute in here, but it is technically functional. I don't really want to spend too much more on the inside because I'm kind of trying to save 
save a little bit of money here. That's 200 simoleons. Why is it so expensive? This is way harder than I thought it was gonna be. I was very confident about this build and I probably shouldn't have been. Maybe I get rid of the computer because then we can buy a couple more things for the outside. The goal of this was farmhouse, so we don't need to have a computer. It'd be nice, but I'd also probably rather embrace the farm part. This is a cute little forager's delight bench, which kind of fits in nicely there. I think I'd like to try and do a little tiny dirt path. The problem is if I have it go all the way around the side, I'm not gonna be able to have space for landscaping in the front. And I'd also really like to have landscaping in the front. I'm kind of trying to do relatively minimal landscaping here because I feel like I always do the same thing when I build these farmhouses. So I'm trying to switch it up a little bit. So it's mostly just bushes and then like some sized up ginormous yellow flowers. Terrain paint can really make such a big difference in a build because we can go from having like absolutely nothing going on on this lot to all of a sudden it looking kind of finished. So right now I've made kind of like a windy set of paths that go around what I've already built. And then I'm kind of trying to fill it in like around the planters. To be completely honest, I don't really know what it should look like around this cow area. We want to have some grass so it can graze, but I also kind of want to put a pathway in. Okay, and then I kind of curved it around a little bit through the rest of the backyard. And now I'm going to take a darker terrain paint and just line the edge of it a little bit. It's kind of like shading if I was painting in real life, except it's The Sims and I'm just using dirt paint. I like to do this because I feel like it helps to blend the terrain paint in because sometimes the terrain paint seems kind of random when it's just there floating. So I'll put that like all the way along the edges. I honestly might even put it a little bit in these parts to make it a little bit darker in the middle where the plants go. And then we can also put it underneath the rest of the plants and maybe underneath the chicken coop a little bit too. Oh, that actually makes a huge difference. Just a little bit of dirt underneath the barn. It's actually kind of starting to look like a farmhouse. Now I have a little bit more money. I might go through and try and fix this living room a tiny bit because it's feeling kind of bland to me. <laughs> I'm not really obsessed with the living room. Maybe a painting on the wall could help. I don't know. It's getting somewhere. I do like the kitchen and dining space. This hallway is a little bit weird too. So maybe the rug being there kind of helps. This is 115 and then I can afford, oh my God. <laughs> I can't even afford two chairs. Oh, this house is currently worth 19603 So I did have a couple things depreciate a little bit. So I, I could give myself like just a tiny bit of extra money. <laughs> just like the tiniest little bit of extra funds. Because then we can maybe get, I don't know, a table outside. Then we can afford to put the coffee table back, which might also be cool. And maybe I could swap this out for the horse ranch one. Because the horse ranch one just looks way better. It matches better. It's, it's just a massive improvement. And maybe, maybe also so we could have a nice light. It's not too much more money. Would not hurt to have an actual indoor trash can now that I know I can afford one. And then wait, look, we've got enough. Oh, 35 <laughs> and I have 34. Are you kidding? Hold on, I'm gonna do it anyway. How much does this house cost? 19,873, that's actually not, that's not bad at all. This kind of works somehow. I'm honestly really proud of this. <laughs> I'm really surprised at how much I managed to fit in given how small the budget was. I'll show you around a little bit. So obviously on the outside, we've got a small front door and a big wraparound porch. On the porch, we've got some planter boxes. There's a bench and we also have this foraging table thing. When you come inside, we've got a small living room with a little entryway. It is walkable. Your Sims can get around it. We've got a pretty big dining table and a lovely kitchen space. I think this is my favorite part. We also have like a cute hut for some storage. And then upstairs, there's a tiny office space, which unfortunately does not have a computer anymore, but that's okay. We've got a shower tub combo and a pretty decent bathroom right here and this really small kind of bland bedroom. And then outside, we've got all of this space for growing crops. We've got a table. We've got a spot for chickens and a cow. So you could run a pretty decent farm with cottage living here on this lot. And all for the low, low price of 19,873 simoleons. Oh my God, I keep spelling my own name wrong when I try and put things on the gallery. Okay, I'll upload this for you. I love to build farm stuff and I really enjoy doing starter homes because it's kind of a fun challenge for me. And honestly, I don't really even think that this house seems like that much of a starter home. I'm really surprised at how nicely furnished it feels inside given how cheap it is. I'm really excited to play with this now. So stay tuned because I'm planning on doing it on my Twitch channel. I guess keeping in mind, I am currently at TwitchCon when you're seeing this. So I'll be streaming when I get back from TwitchCon. But my name is just Lil Simzy on Twitch. I'm live there every day, except 
except for today because I'm at TwitchCon. But normally I'm live playing The Sims every day on Twitch, so follow me now so you don't miss it. Thank you again to Heyday for sponsoring today's video. Honestly, I could not think of a more appropriate sponsor for our farmhouse build. You can scan this QR code or check out the link down below if you want to download Heyday. It's a super fun game and they've got a really fun Halloween event going on right now, so make sure you check it out. And with that, I think I'm gonna end this video right here. So thank you for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day and I'm gonna catch you all tomorrow. Okay, bye everybody. The kittens were in here the whole recording of this video and they only bothered me for like 20 minutes of it. Sunny is just fascinated by my mouse cursor so she tries to follow it, but only for a bit because she's been sleeping for most of this.